I'm Bryce Nolan, Product Specialist, RDO Equipment Company. Today we're going to be showcasing machine sync with a beat lifter and a beat cart. The first thing we got to do to set it up is we have to make sure that both tractors have 4G MTGs in them, active JD Link, and also we have to have machine sync activation on both tractors, which comes with the Automation 4.0 bundle. First thing to do from the screen, we can go into our machine sync page. If we look at our status bar, it'll give us all errors that there are. Shared signal must be on, MTG is connected. If we toggle on machine sync, we can jump back into our status and see what else we need to do to make it work. Leader and follower must be ready to track, leader speed needs to be half mile an hour or more and then the follower or the grain cart needs to resume the auto track button. We also need to initiate and tell the system which tractor is gonna be the leader and which tractor is going to be the follower. So for our scenario, our beat lifter is gonna be the leader and our beat cart is gonna be selected on follower mode. Once everything is enabled for machine sync, you'll notice our operational zone now wraps all the way around the tractor gives us the ability to have the card on the left or the right for us in a beat lifter situation will be on the right side always we're now ready to test the system once we start driving ahead we'll find our auto track line You'll notice on the screen, this little white dot that we see here is our beat cart. So we have visibility of where that beat cart is at all times. At this point, it's now up to the operator of the beat cart or grain cart to engage a system. So all he needs to do is hit this auto track resume button and machine sync will start working. If we flip back to our machine sync run page, you'll notice our status now says tracking he is locked into the home point position of where he needs to be. From here, all we need to do to move him, nudge him forward. We have it set up so he moves four feet every time we nudge forward or backwards. If we wanna nudge him left or right, we can nudge him six inches. That's how we have this set. Quick and easy. It's as simple as that. These are all customizable. If we need to go in and, and adjust how far that machine moves every time we click the nudge button, we can simply do that just by going into our in incline or inline increment and adjusting four feet down to two feet, however we need to do it. If you haven't, so if you had an inexperienced operator in the grain cart or the beat cart, you wouldn't have to worry about him trying to see visibility backwards on where to fill. The visibility with this scenario, we have more of a bird's eye view. So we can see how that cart's getting loaded. We can see if it's going off too far to the right, too far to the left. The visibility from in there, once it gets loaded from front to back, you can't see the back half of it. So that's really going to be you know, a big selling feature for this system, whether it's on a grain cart with a combine or beat cart with a beat lifter. That's a selling point that's, that's, that's real big. Um, the inexperienced guy in there and then just visibility, that's a, that's a big key feature of this. With the labor force nowadays, it's, just, it's getting harder and harder to find guys to, to operate the equipment. We can put just about anybody in there as long as he can drive the tractor. Once he gets close to the, the lifter, take over control and we have control of him from here. If you have questions on how to get machine sync set up on your farm, talk to your local product specialist or account manager at RDO Equipment. Thank you for watching. 
Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.